Collective bargaining has been dragging on for months. Both sides have dug in, and although the short warning strikes have inconvenienced the employer, they have not had any effect so far. Also, despite an arbitration procedure, the negotiations have failed. What now? The union is now using one of its most potent weapons of industrial action, the indefinite strike. But can it decide to call one just like that? No, it must first let its members vote in what is known as a strike ballot. At least 75% of the voting members must vote in favour of downing tools. Only then can the union call a strike. The previous warning strike didn't require a vote, by the way. Employers, in turn, have the option of imposing a lockout. They can lock out all the employees, even those who want to work, to increase the pressure on the trade unions. However, this move is very controversial. Hmm as it means the employer is wielding its economic power against the workforce. There have hardly been any lockouts in recent decades, however. This is because, during the strike phase, the employer does not pay any salaries. The employment relationship is suspended. In return, the union pays strike pay from the strike fund, but only to its members. Collective bargaining can be resumed at any time during this period. Meanwhile, the strike can continue. Only when a new strike ballot is held, in which 25% of the voting union members agree to the result of the negotiations, does the strike usually end. Alternatively, the strike can be declared over by the union as well. Incidentally, the right to strike is also a fundamental right. But can anyone go on strike just like that? In the work context, only unionised strikes are allowed. Non-unionised wildcat strikes are subject to restrictions. According to the Federal Constitutional Court, civil servants such as police officers or judges are also not allowed to go on strike. They're in a relationship of loyalty to the state. For example, they are employed for life and must be paid appropriately by the state and provided for later. However, the ban on strikes is viewed critically by trade unions, for example by teachers and is currently also being examined by the European Court of Human Rights. So, it's clear that strikes are a potent weapon in industrial action, and as the Federal Labour Court once stated, collective bargaining without the right to strike would be nothing more than collective begging. <laughs>